Now, solid waste is the waste material which is generated through various human activities on daily basis. And the solid waste include domestic waste, industrial waste, hazardous waste, which is very poisonous, electronic waste, biomedical waste, urban waste, radioactive waste, and mining waste. So all these were some types of waste that is included in solid waste. Now waste management is important so that our environment can be protected and even the contamination of the environment can be reduced. Because of these waste, the environment and our ecosystem gets harmed. Now children, you may think why it is necessary to manage the solid waste. So we need to protect our environment. So for preventing the environmental pollution and keeping our surrounding clean, it is important for us to manage the waste properly. Now we all know that population is growing day by day and with the increasing population, the amount of waste that is generated by humans is also increasing. So for energy as well as for fertilizer production and that through that to generate work and employment opportunities, we can manage something, we can make some department that is solid waste management and in this way we are even uh, removing harmful substance from the environment. We are even freeing our environment from the waste as well as we are even employing people in that so that even they can get some earnings. Waste management is also important to reduce the strain on natural resources through treatment of solid waste and through this we try to make some new substances, we try to reuse the substances to improve the health and quality of life and also to maintain the environmental balance. Now there are various ways in which we can manage the solid waste and about all those ways we are going to learn in this chapter. Let's first look at the different types of waste and the sources of waste that we generate. So first of all, we have the domestic waste. We all know that whatever waste is generated in our house, all of that thing, it can be paper, plastic bags, vegetable fruits, everything which are generated in our home, which we throw in the dustbin, all of that is included in domestic waste. Then we have the industrial waste. Industrial waste include a lot amount of chemicals, then metals, even sometimes various harmful chemicals are released. That is the industrial waste. Then we have the hazardous waste. Now these are the harmful chemicals from the industries like the nuclear power plant or even from the radioactive metals. For example, any kind of mercury or even sometimes antimony, all of these are very, very harmful to the environment. And if all of these substances get mixed into the soil, then they even affect the humans. Next, we have the farm or the garden waste, uh, the waste which is generated like leaves and uh, the crop material, the roots which are there, which the plant which is dead, the, the, those plants, then pesticides, all of that comes in the garden waste. Then we have the electronic waste, the non-functional stuff that we throw in the dustbin, all of that comes in the electronic waste, which is of no use to us. Next, we have the biomedical waste, the medical waste, which is generated like bandages, dressing. Then we have the injections, then test tubes. All of this comes under biomedical waste. Now, biomedical waste has to be treated properly before disposing them. We also have the urban waste. Now, this waste is generated in the household, in the urban areas. And it can include many stuff like the carry bags, even metal pieces, glasses that we throw. So all of this include in urban waste. Then we have the radioactive waste. Now this waste is the from the radioactive substances uh, which is used in atomic researches or nuclear weapon testing. At that time, this waste is generated. Next is the mining waste. Now, these are the heavy metals. For example, in mining, at the time of mining, if someone is mining for a particular type of substances, if the other substances are also found with it, so those substances are discarded and that comes under 
the mining waste. Now the waste is divided mainly into two forms that is biodegradable waste and non-biodegradable waste. Now if we talk about biodegradable waste, this type of waste is easily degraded by microbes and this includes mostly the kitchen waste. For example, the soil, fruits, vegetables, even food, all of this are included in the degradable waste. Sometimes this waste also include the soil, dung and parts of various plants. Now this type of waste that is the degradable waste, it is also called as wet garbage or you can also call it as wet solid waste. Then uh, this type of waste, it is carefully decomposed and if we decompose it properly, then we can even get compost from it which can be used in the agriculture purposes. Next type is the non-biodegradable waste. This type of waste is not easily degraded and you can use microbes also but then also it cannot be degraded and it takes a long period of time for these type of waste to degrade and this includes plastic, metals and many materials. Now this waste is called as the dry waste or we can say as dry garbage and this can be recycled. If you will go to visit anywhere these days, you will find that there are two garbage bags. One is for dry waste and one is for wet waste. So you need to throw the waste accordingly so that if it is non-biodegradable then that waste can be recycled and can be reused. Harmful effects of solid waste. Now the waste that is generated, it also has many harmful effects. First of all, bad odor is there from the waste which can also lead to many diseases. Next is the production of toxic gases that many gases are formed because of the chemical process which is happening in the waste because many things are there in the waste and all of this leads to many chemical reaction and various toxic gases can be removed from that. Then next is the degradation of natural beauty. If we throw waste here and there, then our natural beauty which is there, it can be degraded. It leads to various type of pollution like air pollution, water pollution, soil pollution and also because of the waste, if it is not treated for a long period of time, it can also lead to spread of disease because the flies, rodents, insects, all of this will feed on them and because of that many diseases can be spread. So all of this is the effect of the uh, waste on the environment. It affects our biodiversity as well. It is also affecting our environment, our climate. So for all of this reason, managing waste is important as it is very harmful to our environment and to the humans as well. Now here are the few methods in which we can manage the waste. So these are called as the scientific and eco-friendly waste management tricks. So first is composting. Now in this what we do is that the decomposition of the degradable kitchen waste and all of this is put in a small pit in a garden or in a terrace and this is called as composting. Now through this good amount of manure is produced uh, because of the leftover food, peels of fruits, vegetable etc. Composting is the best way to reduce the waste. Another is the vermicomposting. Now in vermicomposting the solid waste is converted into manure or compost. But one important thing is that we use worms that is we use earthworm in this. And as it is more nutritious, so vermicompost manure is highly nutritious and it can be used for agricultural purpose and also for garden purpose. Now composting and vermicomposting can easily be done in your house. Then next type is land filling. So what we do is a solid waste is disposed of in a secured land and the site of the secured land to be filled, it should be minimum away from the uh, settlement of human habilitation. For example, it should be around two kilometers away from any type of human habitation. Now here, uh, this a very important care is to be taken that this zone, it should be in the sensitive zone. Now here what is done is the land, the land is dig and the 
or whatever the plastic or the clay whatever materials are there that is removed and all of the garbage is then put into the land and then the land is filled up and it is left so that it can degrade inside this is called as the land filling or safe land filling you can say or land filling method then another type is the pyrolysis so now in pyrolysis what we do is that the waste is heated at high temperature and because of which gas and electricity can be obtained now most of the municipal corporation they use this method only that is pyrolysis and through this biogas and bioelectricity can be produced then another type is incineration now for this this is only done for the medical waste so the medical waste it is burned in the incinerators there are huge incinerators which are present and by burning it kills the pathogen also the disinfection and sterilization is also done while treating the medical waste so these were few of the method that can be used and to manage the waste now in this there is one more that is waste separation so in this method what we do is we separate dry and wet uh, wet waste separately and these can be stored and later collected for proper use so the wet waste can be used for degradating purpose and the dry waste can be used and recycled so these were few waste management which is eco friendly and it does not also causes lot of pollution so here we have few principles of solid waste management first of all is reuse so in this is like we you need to reuse the materials the waste for some other purposes and the one is refuse that is we need to refuse that we do not have to use any type of non degradable waste like plastic or thermocol instead we can replace it with something which can be reused again and again or which is environment friendly next is recycle that is in this we try to produce substances which can be recycled from the solid waste which is already a waste so this is nothing but we are using it by recycling things next is rethink now rethink is that rethink on our habits and our activities that whatever we are doing what will be the consequences of the thing that we are doing so this is like rethinking on whatever things you are thinking whenever you are buying something think that whether it is useful to you and when you will throw it when you will waste that thing can it be degraded or can it be reused again and again next is re reduce that is we should restrict on our using stuff on our resources and we should avoid the wastage research is like conducting a proper research uh, related to the reuse of materials and temporarily we can reuse those materials so do a proper research on those sub things next is regulation and public awareness now there are laws and rules which are related to waste management and so we should make people aware about these laws and we should make people think about these laws and regulation and so that all of them follow these law and regulation and the principle of solid waste management can be protected so these are the seven principles of solid waste management which should be followed by everyone so all the waste that is generated it take a very long duration to get degraded for example if you see the banana peeling cloth bag rags wooden sack all of this degrade within one year but if you will see wood or you can see leather shoes it takes around 15 to 10 years or 40 to 50 years also tin can can take 50 to 100 years to degrade aluminum caps can take 200 to 250 years to degrade and plastic bags can take 10 lakh years to degrade thermocol or the styrofoam cups these use in finite duration it might take 200 lakh years or it might not degrade ever so all of these materials all of the waste that we throw so these things we should use as our need and we should think of recycling stuffs we should avoid using plastic stuff instead we should replace it with something which is degradable